<coughs> oh, hi. <coughs> I was just clearing my throat when the camera came on. Oh, yeah, you know, maybe what I should, I did, I thought it was going to take a little while and I had time to clear. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, anyway, Doc here. Um, yeah, the, uh, I, I, you know, I just, I think the uh, video right next to this, the neighboring video is one about um, uh, the violets in the backyard. Uh, right, I, I took you on a little tour, actually the side yard. Uh, our backyard is the river uh, <laughs> and the hill leading down into it, which is usually this, uh, as, as summer develops, pretty much no man's land You with all the shrubbery and stuff that's uh, between here and the river. We have one path that'll get you down there relatively safely. Uh, but the, uh, so the side yard is pretty much our backyard. Got a little grill there I made, a cinder block grill. I got to show you that someday because I'm actually, I'm pretty proud of it. It's a long-standing family tradition, that grill too, by the way. Yeah, no, I'm not going to show you now, another time. But uh, I, we, I was showing you all the violets, among other things, in the in the side yard. And uh, I mentioned how you can make jelly out of those violets, out of the blossoms. And uh, I found a recipe. I, I, I may as well read it to you. I went to the trouble of finding it. So, right. And I'm just going to paraphrase, but it's basically easy stuff. And you can always Google these things, uh, it's like I said. But some people, if you're my age, you might not know. You know yeah, so... Uh, how to get to it, but luckily I found it. Here it is. Uh, it's just a simple uh, recipe. Um, let's see, it's basically eight cups of fresh violet blossoms. And again, they, they really make a point of saying don't use African violets from inside. Evidently, you can't eat them. Go figure. I don't know, but that's what they say. Then you need three and a half cups of boiling water, a package of... Um, uh, powdered fruit pectin. I guess that's sure gel, right? I think something like that. Half a cup of lemon juice. And evidently there's recipes that don't use lemon juice for some reason. I, I don't know why they wouldn't, but there you go. And four cups of sugar. Boy, you need a lot of sugar. Well, eight cups, three and a half. Yeah, you got about what? Two quarts of water, right? No, uh, let me think. No, you got about a quart of water, four cups of sugar. My God, how does that all dissolve? Well, anyway, okay, here we go. Basically, you uh, rinse and drain the uh, blossoms after you pick them. Uh, I don't know if you can pick the white blossoms or not. I would say go for the purple. Uh, place in a large heat-resistant glass bowl. Pour boiling water over the blossoms and let all that stand for about two hours. Now and then stir it. And then you, um, you uh, evidently uh, strain... I guess you run it through a strainer or one of those screens you have, yeah. Uh, and uh, to to uh, you you basically are free. You know, you're, you've got the violet fluid sitting in a container. Um, as far as the strainer goes, press the with a spatula or a wooden spoon or something to get all the possible color out of the uh, yeah out of the violets, and you can discard the blossoms after that. Okay, uh, you measure, uh, well, you, you put the, uh, the violet liquid that you've made into a, um, yeah, into, uh, well, into a container, uh, you, uh, and you add enough water uh, to make three and a half cups of liquid, yeah, uh, and that'll be kind of blue and greenish, uh, and if you, what you do is then you stir in the pectin, the lemon juice, and the liquid will turn a violet color. Yep, it'll turn, yep. Uh, and then basically it's a, you, a stainless steel saucepan. Bring it up to a boil, boil for about a, a minute or so. Stir all the time. Keep stirring. Yeah. Don't stop stirring. Okay. Yeah. If you can't do it, holler for someone to come stir while you're running off to change the TV channel or something. Okay. And then you remove all that from the heat. Uh, I guess there's going to be foam. Skim off the old foam. Uh, I don't know what, you know, I I'd love to see if that foam turns to jelly. Huh? Yeah. Jellied foam. You could have fun with that. Yeah. I think put it on your, yeah. Put it like, have it coming out your ear or something and run. (laughs) <laughs> oh, I got an earache. What's wrong? And all this foam. I don't know. That'd be kind of 
Yeah. Well, any case, the uh, foam coming out of your pocket. Guess what's in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, there's a million things you could do with some foam. Um, the uh, uh, Especially if it's turned to jelly. Um, anyway, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But anyway, you uh, then you carefully ladle the uh, hot liquid, I guess they mean don't burn yourself, uh, into sterilized half-pint jars. Uh, so a half a pint's about eight ounces, right? Uh, leaving a little bit of head space and uh, remove the air bubbles, uh, wipe the rim and adjust the lids. Uh, I guess you put lids on it. Some folks, I think, pour wax on it, but gee, then you might eat the wax, you know? Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt you, but still. Uh, probably lubricate the old intestines, I would think. And uh, you, uh, you evidently process for about five minutes in a boiling water canner. I guess that kills off any germs that might be in the jar. And uh, there you go. You got yourself about, oh, four or five pints of uh, violet jelly. And it's good. Oh, people will be very impressed you bring them violet jelly. My daughter's sunshine, this is one of the first things she ever cooked. Uh, she may have cooked scrambled eggs first, but violet jelly was a big thing with her. She'd be out there picking the violets and doing all, yeah, all the stuff. It was kind of cute to see her. She was five, five, six, seven years old. I, I guess her mom probably helped her. And uh, darned if they had, uh, that stuff didn't, actually it tasted pretty good. It kind of had a little bit of a taste uh, like, like violet smell. Yeah, made, uh, yeah, made, I don't know, made for conversation too. It's kind of, you say, pass the grape jelly, that's not grape. Well, what is it then? <laughs> you, violet, you're kidding. Yeah, oh yeah. Now, I don't know if you can do this with other flowers. I'd look it up. I don't, uh, don't go, you know, you, you, have, you never know, you, you might pick the wrong flower, and next thing you know, uh, yeah, don't, no, don't do that. But Sunny, yeah, I remember she was, uh, do we got time? Oh, we got a second or two. She used to, we, uh, back when I lived up in the northern mountains of central Pennsylvania uh, with uh, Sonny's mom, my first wife, uh, we, uh, we had a wood stove, beautiful old wood stove. I was a boiler maker then, and we found this big old uh, wood stove someone was getting rid of, and <clears throat> well, I was able to fix it, get it into uh, working shape. And we used that baby to uh, heat the house. Uh, we had an oil burner too, but still, uh, that thing, uh, especially with cheap firewood up that neck of the woods, uh, that was a, oh man, that was a wallet saver, that one. Uh, and uh, we'd, uh, what we'd do is before we go to bed, we'd bank the fire. In other words, uh, just give it a little bit of uh, air, not much, and it would turn to coals in the uh, firebox of the wood stove. Uh, again, it was a cook stove. I mean, it had like six burners. You could actually roast a turkey in that thing. My, yeah, my first wife uh, uh, did. Uh, she, uh, she knocked out a Thanksgiving dinner on a wood stove. Man, it was, uh, that was memorable. It was really good. And uh, so anyway, so that's what I'm saying. Uh, give that a thought, and boy, I think you'll be, uh, you'll be kind of uh, pleased with yourself. The... Uh, that violet jelly. Oh, I was going to say the thing Sonny used to cook. I'm sorry, I hear the phone ringing, so it kind of threw me off a little. The, uh, mm. so let me say, oh gosh, listen to it now, beeping. Whoever it was must have hung up. Okay, well, just as well. <clears throat> but uh, yes, yeah, Sonny, we, we would bank the fire at night, and uh, I'd, I'd put a frying pan, a, a cast iron frying pan on the stove, and it would get uh, you know, I'd give it a couple hours, it would get as hot as the stove uh, if the stove was, uh, if the fire was banked. And uh, so Sonny would usually get up before us. She'd go uh, come into the bedroom and say, can I go uh, make, watch cartoons, make my breakfast? Well, yeah, go ahead, knock yourself out. And uh, she'd, she'd mosey down steps and um, we'd hear her down there whistling away. And uh, what she'd do is she'd get an egg and a little bit of milk, you know, to make a scrambled egg stuff. And she'd just throw the scram. We'd have the skillet already there. The skillet was warm enough. She'd open up, a, she knew to open up just a little bit of the, uh, of the, um, uh, the, uh, the air intake uh, under the fire. And that would get a little bit of a flame going. She, she knew she wasn't supposed to put wood in there, although I think she did now and then. And, uh, and she'd just have the, uh, she'd have the, uh, 
uh, the, the egg mixture. It would take maybe 15, 20 minutes for the egg to finally turn into a scrambled egg, you know, all cooked. And you'd see she'd, uh, she'd make some toast in the toaster and, uh, and a little ketchup. And uh, next thing you know, you'd hear the cartoons come on. And she'd be down there eating her uh, scrambled egg and ketchup, a little bit of toast made her own breakfast, gave us a little extra time to snooze. It was kind of nice. But that wood stove, yeah, that was, man, that thing was something else. Oh, I'll bet you that weighed about 800 pounds. I know I had to put a a column underneath it down in the basement, or I think that thing would have been the basement stove, give it time. Uh, But it was really, uh, really something. And uh, quite the thing to cook on. And uh, yeah, so then Sonny went from scrambled eggs to uh, making violet jelly. I guess they must have shown them how to do it in kindergarten or something. And she, uh, first grade maybe, and she used to make that for everybody. There's plenty of violets up that neck of the woods. And she'd, uh, yeah, she'd do okay. It's pretty neat. Anyway, I thought I'd say. Okay, uh, well, enough said. You got your recipe. Get busy. Uh, again, don't use African violets. You'll be in trouble for that. Oh, yeah. I don't think that would taste... And the white violets, I don't know if they'd go. You want the purple. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, and I don't know. I'm, I'll find something else we can cook. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and report back. We'll see you later, friends. God bless and uh, see you later. Bye now.